Now second section the first problem, second section first problem, first bit if cos alpha equals to minus 3 by 5 and sin beta equals to 7 by 25, where pi by 2 less than alpha less than pi and 0 less than beta, beta less than pi by 2, then find the values, the values, find the values of tan of alpha plus beta and sin of alpha plus beta. Okay. So, let us do here given pi by 2 less than alpha, alpha less than pi that implies where does alpha lie? Alpha lies in between 90 to 180 that comes second quadrant. So, alpha belongs to second quadrant and in second quadrant cos is negative that is given cos alpha is equal to minus 3 by 5. We know that we know that cos square alpha plus sin square alpha equals to 1 identity. Let us substitute cos alpha here 9 by 25 plus sin square alpha is equal to 1 sin square alpha is equal to 1 minus 9 by 25. This will be 16 by 25. So, sin alpha is equal to plus r minus 4 by 5. Now, we have to determine the sin here. Since alpha lies in second quadrant, sin alpha becomes positive. So, therefore, we have to take now sin alpha is equal to 4 by 5. Now, let us go to the next one and given here once again 0 less than beta, beta less than pi by 2 that implies beta belongs to first quadrant. In first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are negative and given sin beta is equal to 7 by 25. So, need not worry. Now, in this case you can track the triangle to get directly this beta triangle you can see. So, now this will be 7, this will be 25, this will be 24. So, cos beta we can write directly, cos beta is 24 by 25. Now, though we are asked to find out the tan alpha plus beta first, so it had better first find out sin of alpha plus beta and find cos alpha plus beta then sin alpha plus beta by cos alpha plus beta gives us tan alpha plus beta. So, otherwise you can use tan alpha plus beta directly also. So, first let us find out sin of alpha plus beta. So, sin of alpha plus beta equals to sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta. We are familiar with the formula. So, now sin alpha is 4 by 5 multiplied by cos beta is 24 by 25 plus whereas cos alpha is minus 3 by 5 into sin beta. What is sin beta? Is 7 by 25. Now, let us simplify. This is 24 into 4 96 by 125 and minus 21 by 125. 6 minus 1 5, 75 by 125.
this is sin alpha plus beta now let us find out cos alpha plus beta now now cos alpha plus beta see cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta let us replace the values cos alpha is minus 3 by 5 next cos beta is this one so minus 3 by 5 into 24 by 25 minus sin alpha is 4 by 5 into sin beta sin beta is equal to 7 by 25 so this is minus 72 by 125 and minus 28 by 125 72 plus 20 is 100 but minus 100 by 125 now we have to find out tan alpha plus beta so tan alpha plus beta can be written as sin of alpha plus beta by cos of alpha plus beta whereas sin alpha plus beta is 75 by 125 by minus 100 by 125 this 75 by 125 into minus 125 by 100 this this cancel we have minus 75 by 100 25 3 ja 25 4 ja so minus 3 by 4 hence the problem has been solved second problem second problem if 0 less than a a less than b b less than pi by 4 and sin of a plus b equal to 24 by 25 and cos of a minus b equals to 4 by 5 then find the value of tan to a tan to a Okay. It is very clear A lies between 0 to pi by 4, B lies between 0 to pi by 4 means both A comma B are acute angle. If A plus B, A plus B is also acute, A minus B difference also will be acute only. So that means they lie in the first quadrant. That means given 0 less than a, a less than b, less than pi by 4 that implies a plus b and a minus b are acute. Acute means they lie in the first quadrant. So, what is given sin of a plus b? That is 24 by 25 take the triangle let us say this is a plus b triangle angle is a plus b is 24 this will be 25 this will be 7 so we can write in this one tan of a plus b tan of a plus b is equal to 24 by 7 now next cos of a minus b so cos of a minus b equals to 4 by 5 take the triangle 
right angle to triangle c a minus b this will be 4 this will be 5 this will be 3 now tan of a minus b equal to 3 by 4 now we are asked to find out tan to a how to find out tan to a so we know that this 2a can be written as a plus b plus of a minus b just check it now a plus b plus a minus b b b gets cancelled we get 2a now apply tan function on both sides on both sides tan function on both sides tan to a is equal to tan of a plus b plus a minus b this is just like tan of say x plus y tan of x plus y tan x plus tan y by 1 minus tan x tan y like that we can write so this tan of a plus b plus tan of a minus b by 1 minus tan of a plus b into tan of a minus b substitute the values 24 by 7 plus now 3 by 4 1 minus 24 by 7 into 3 by 4 ok now this is equal to 28 is the LCM 96 plus 21 by 28 LCM 28 minus 72 22 28 28 cancel 7 117 by 4 12 minus 8 is 4 now 6 minus 2 is 4 but minus so minus 117 by 44 this is tan to a 